Jim White out here in the flesh. May this Divining Lie episode find you thriving in your academic pursuits. Are you prepared to crush absolutely any KJVO video out yonder? Yeah! Ha! Circle them stagecoach horse-drawn wagons together, cowboys and cowgirls. Ahem. Giddy up. Look, Ma! No brains. Backwoods Bible believer bumpkins abound. As a lab rat guinea pig, let us utilize the 411 KJB YouTube channel documentary called Hidden Prophecies in the Bible. If you can stomach it, it is two hours and 12 minutes to correspond with the 212 Fahrenheit boiling point, as they believe that God is in control of constants in the universe. I must concede, almost thou persuadest me to be open theist, as God has sat in his glory from everlasting thinking all this time. And these guys at 411 KJB YouTube channel have caught God by surprise in coming up with patterns and numerics that God himself never dreamed. These guys find Psalms 103, 1 through 2, and 31,102 verses, and 1769 in the digits of pi. They call English divinely distinguished, and even see God's hand on the Big Ben or Benjamin absolute latitude and longitude of England, and connect that with the Benjamin Blaney on and on. They believe in some sort of super-duper quadruper sovereignty on steroids as if God has pre-decreed and governed every single syllable of their Bibles. Whoa. Pardon me, I am proud. Proud to be of the few scholars who understand how to stand over the King James Bible translators. Scholar Alu Tree is understood, but Bibliolatry, these folks are ballet dancing on the James River with a 1611 King James on the stage and holding up KJVs. It's too much. It's too much. This guy comes stomping out like a TR Textus Receptus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and takes the King James sword, chopping up new versions. There is a scene with the King James as king of a mountain of many excellent books. Typical King James cult. The narrator is a Hartinger or Hartinger. German, never heard of him. These guys follow me around like white out on John R. Rice. Um, they have an obsession with the number 411. They say that Genesis 1 1 is 411 or 411, English Gematria, and that since 411 is providentially representing info, then the King James only is the info for English speaking people. Since Daniel 12 prophesied, knowledge increased in the last days, and since, of course, Daniel 12 has 411 words, then the 411 knowledge explosion is somehow prophesied in the authorized version, they take the corresponding John 1, uh, 1 and take the gematria of each word and find the equivalent prime number and add this up to be a grand total of 41199. They then relate this to Genesis 1, 1 in that in the beginning, God is 999 in gematria, and the amen in Revelation 2221 is 99 in gematria. Ouch! Cut it out! Please refrain from leaving a lasting impression with your pen when you do that. It's uncomfortable. And get this. They call it a roll of the scroll of the fruitful numerical eternal Bible circle wheel by connecting the last verse and the first verse and spelling nine and ninth. They will say Galatians is nine letters and the ninth book of the New Testament with nine fruit of the Spirit. And there are nine gifts of the Spirit and a nine month gestation period. And that King James is nine letters. Holy Bible is nine letters and 1611 cross sums as one plus six plus one plus one or nine. So wink, wink. If you want the fruitful Bible, get the King James. Negative, not on your life. No, -uh, no, no, no. Or shall I say, uh, um, nay, to speak in terms the KJV only ist can comprehend. They have this um, chart where the husband and wife lists their respective birthdays in literally eight different ways that you add up their different birth dates using the same equation structure on both sides. The precise number comes up and some of their favorite Bible numerics numbers at that. This could be just made up birth dates or just some sheer coincidence, quinky dink, uh, because simply put, God does not have our permission to pre-decree such togetherness of two humans in a providential plan. It's out there. Their point is that if God can sovereignly number our lives, his eternal words are even more so numbered with patterns requiring cryptanalysis. They teach that God will be teaching us such advanced planning in the scriptures literally for infinity. They say that God is infinitely sovereign or some such notion not found in seminary textbooks worldwide, mind you. They have 1948 degrees Fahrenheit being the melting point of gold and Israel coming forth as a nation after heavy trials in 1948. They have one where Job said that he would come forth as gold after being tried and then point out that the entire book of Job ends with Job 
being old and that being old has gold in what they call split word phenomena. Oh, it gets wilder by the minute. They call it L's elements, but have God's sovereign hand on the periodic table, with AU being the symbol for gold. And so the authorized version starts, of course, with AU for the old gold of the KJV. When it says silver and gold in the Bible, the and gold is acronym phenomena as AG, which is the universal symbol for silver. On and on, the Psalms of degrees in the Bible end with Psalm 134, and it just so happens that the highest recorded degrees on earth is 134 in Death Valley, California. Of course, when we deny this, they call us Bible deists. Just when you think you are safe from the King James cult by pointing out typographical errors in the 1611 printing, here comes 411KJB YouTube with what they call providential, quote unquote, mistakes in the King James. For example, when it says, written, um... <laughs> Regarding the plaque above Jesus on the cross, the early 1611 printers put three T's. These guys say the joke's on we scholars because God put the three T's um, to represent the three crosses with Jesus and the malefactors. I declare these guys just sit around thinking of brilliant chess moves against us and need to get a life and start cataloging manuscripts and learning Aramaic. These guys point out that E, Ye, Seuss, Greek for Jesus is... 888 in gematria, and of course, 8 is infinity in mathematics, albeit turned sideways. Get a load of this. So, ever pumped gas and you see the 888s in digital format? They say that God, per Romans 1, makes himself known, and this is but one way where God stamps 888 Jesus all over the place with calculators, digital devices, you name it. They see God behind every cotton-picking burning bush, folks. These KJV onlys poison the atmosphere, yeah, environment, Everywhere they go, my friends. Oh, and then there is same space symmetry. You see, DNA is found in a 23 skip sequence in the fearfully and wonderfully made chapter of Psalm 139. See how I pronounced it Psalm um, singular and not Psalms plural. Get it through your King James cranium. But DNA, 23, same space symmetry. Who are you trying to kid? Your grandmother. I almost sounded like Ruckman. He's smiling down at me right now. Hang around the James River banks long enough and you are liable to... Slip in, folks. When critiquing these KJV videos, don't let them poison you. They find the word rib in deoxyribonucleic acid DNA and trace it back to Mother Eve, the missing rib. And they take the four proteins of DNA, finding a nine and nine is in two of them, and point out that they are two syllables, three syllables, two syllables, and three syllables for a 23 and 23 sequence to get 23 chromosomes apiece. They literally think God sat around for all eternity thinking up these type matters, and there is an uncapped ocean of revelation to unfold forever. Then there is this 17 and 27 sequence from Genesis 1. 1, Revelation 22, 21, Psalm 44, 4, and 17 vowels and 27 consonants apiece. King and Jacob for James show up in Psalm 44, 4, with 1611 instances of King before this verse, 17, 27, and Noah entered the ark on the 17th day, exiting on the 27th day. Uh, the first Old Testament book, 17th chapter, has 27 verses. Uh, the first New Testament book, 17th chapter, has 27 verses on and on. Oh, and look at 1 John 5, 7 in Greek, Textus, Receptus, and English. 22 words and 88 letters, just like in Greek. And it is 17 plus 17 vowels and 27 plus 27 consonants. The Godhead could not have possibly planned such. <laughs> so how do you kill any king? James version only video. Simple. Let them commit scholarly suicide by allowing their videos to prove themselves wrong. Simply take this hidden prophecies in the Bible video and send it to your friends and family. And let's face it, folks are all into numbers for their uh, bank accounts, recipes, stock market batting average of their favorite baseball players, but they would never postulate that numbers could be used by God in the Bible in any serious way. Folks are bored to tears by such and have little time on their hands to do the King James counts and whatnot done. Away from the earth with such pestilent King James videos. May your encounters with the King James only species of believers be sparse, scarce, sporadic, spaced, staggered, and scattered. Jim Whiteout, signing off.